Hey everyone, welcome to Rejoicing Bones, where we talk about all things joy. And I'm really happy to see you today. Just a quick shout out to the last three subscribers that uh, came aboard. I'm really so happy to have you and I hope you keep watching with us for a long time to come. Because here at Rejoicing Bones, we talk about all things joy. And we do that because without that, we cannot have a victorious life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So really, really, really glad to have you here today. So today it's a short video. It's short because I'm moving house and uh, things are quite a mess and I'm holding out uh, this office move for as long as I can, but it's going to have to go here soon. Uh, but uh, so today it's short and I want to tell you just a couple of things that are coming up. Uh, the first thing is uh, we're going to talk about the changes to come for Rejoicing Bones. And then the second thing is we're going to talk about the meaning of life. Wow, huh? The meaning of life. How dare I even think that I can... Uh, presume to know what the meaning of life is, but I think we can. So anyway, before we go on, just the short things here. This is what, what's, what's happening with Rejoicing Bones. Um, I'm going to, uh, as I said, move house. And a few weeks after that, I should have this completed. This is my uh, new studio slash office. The Rejoicing Bones message is so valuable to me. And uh, being able to put out good video to put this message across is important. And so uh, we're going to put this uh, dedicated office and studio outside my house where we can record the uh, future Rejoicing Bones uh, sessions. Uh, so that's that. That's what's coming up ahead. Oh, hey, one more thing, too. Um, just to let you know, I'm going to disrupt a couple things here in the office. Um, hold on a second. This is, this is the first manuscript of my book, uh, which I will not tell you the name of at this moment because it's not copyrighted or anything, uh, but it's been a, a few years in the making, uh, but, uh, well, my camera's all funky. Let's get this refocused here. <laughs> That's here. There we go. That's better. Um, is it? Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, so that book, I, I'm telling you about it because, uh, I'm hoping that, uh, by next year, this will be all published and ready to go, and you'll be able to get your hands on it. Um, that's another thing that's coming up with Rejoicing Bones. And uh, I'll keep you posted on, on how that is going, um, because it's important too. So, without further ado, let's get on to the big question of life. What is the meaning of life? Like I said, we can find that answer in the scriptures. This can be short. Stick with me, folks. Don't let me lose you now, because if you if you don't know the meaning of life or haven't thought about it, or if you think it's something that can't be answered, I really want you to to have some buy in here, um, because having a handle on the answer to this question uh, informs how we handle our relationships. It informs how we handle trials in life, everything. And listen, uh, next week we're going to talk about that very thing. How uh, the meaning of life will have an impact on how we handle trials. But uh, anyway, we'll, we'll get to that next week. So now let me just read the scripture to you. This is from Isaiah 43, 6 to 7. It says, I will say to the north, give them up. And to the south, do not hold them back. It says, bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory etc etc the key thing there whom i created for my glory who did he create for his glory everyone who is called by his name folks if that's if if you're a christian here today this means you this is this is talking about you and let me encourage you you are created for god's glory and that's a wonderful thing you don't need to wonder anymore what your purpose of life is and then the, just another thing, just to just throw out there, 1 Corinthians 10, 31. You've heard this probably a million times if you're a Christian. It says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all for the glory of God. Boom. That's it. So we're created for the purpose of glorifying God and everything we should do should be to the glory of God. This is all over the Bible, folks. These are just a couple of short passages I wanted to share with you today so that we could put this to rest. And uh, let's talk about some of this more in detail next week uh, when I will start the series on 
the mission of Rejoicing Bones so everyone has a clear understanding who I am and what Rejoicing Bones is all about. We'll see you next week. Over and out. Oh, be joyful. Be restored. <laughs>